happy Monday. Today is day one in my um, Turks and Caicos prep. So I'm just gonna do my whole Turks and Caicos everything in one video. I leave on Thursday. So right now I'm on my way to get my nails done and then we're gonna run a few errands. My camera's about to die, of course. Let's get it. I'm so fucking excited for this trip. Um, tomorrow I get my hair done. So I'm not gonna really vlog too much of that, but you know, we be in the fucking lab when we get the hair done. Um, so I'm pissed the fuck off. I look a mess, guys. This is for the girls, okay, and the girls only, because I look a fucking mess. I don't care. Um, so I drive all the way to the nail shop and he, the nail shop is closed. The guy rescheduled me. I had an appointment Saturday at 12 and he rescheduled because he had an emergency. So I'm like, okay, Monday. So now I go m today at four. I just feel like I'm not gonna be able to get a pedicure since he's, I feel like he's just opening the shop to do my nails. So we'll see, like we'll see what happens. Um, there. So everyone is telling me they're cute. Like I get it. They're cute on the surf. But my problem is not the the like the style, it's the length. I personally when I get this shape, I like to use the straight tips because I don't like it when it's like a little bit curved like this. That is driving me crazy. I'm gonna just get them redone when I get back, but it's like annoying that I'm going on vacation and these are the nails I have to go with. Hello everyone and welcome to a series I like to call Vacation Prep from Hell. Literally Vacation Prep from Hell. I got my hair done today. Yes, you wouldn't even have knew. And I was going to vlog everything, but things didn't turn out as planned. But yes, I did get my hair done and yes, it is a fucking mess. I just, I don't really know what else to do. My nails are a mess, my hair is a mess, I look a fucking mess. This is my hairstylist, she usually does my hair really good, but I don't know what was going on today. She wasn't feeling like herself or something. The top is, the top is a mess for the price that I paid. I should be feeling myself, like I should be like feeling like that girl and I'm just not that girl. Like my part is not even straight. So. Yes, this is vacation prep from hell. I've embraced it. I hate it, but there's nothing I can do. I already paid the money and it's already like installed in my fucking head. I already cried about it. So, like, I don't know. We're going to have to do what to do. We're going to have to style it, like try to fix that little bumpy shit in the side. I just left the hair salon like two hours ago. I think my hairstylist is just getting old, like her. Like I just need to find a new one that's like younger. But yeah, for it to look like it's two days old is crazy. Like my edges aren't even pressed down. I have to go run some more errands. So I just have to go to Best Buy and return something. I have to go to Ulta and exchange something because I got the wrong shade. And then I have to that's all I have to do today and then tomorrow I have a pedicure in the morning and I have a wax in the afternoon and then I'm just going to be packing. I think I'm going to... Hello guys. Happy Thursday. Today is the day I leave for Turks. It's 1.40 and I'm about to just like crimp my hair. I have everything packed. I've honestly been packed since Wednesday because I wanted to um, wanted to style my looks. So um, I've been packed since Wednesday. I mean, not Wednesday, Tuesday. I just went to get my toes done this morning. And I got a wax last night, which honestly wasn't as bad as I thought it would be because I haven't gotten a wax in like three years. But it wasn't that bad. I just wanted to vlog this whole trip because I think it would be really dope. Um, and yeah, so that's just what we're doing right now. We're just crimping our hair, which I feel like is going to take me fucking forever with these 30-inch bundles. But I don't think I'm going to do like a full-out crimp. I think I'm just going to get some waves in there because I probably will jump in the pool as soon as I land. Really, really excited. We take off at... Woo. We take off at 
11.50 and we get there at 11 a.m. We have a 40 minute layover in DC um, just to switch planes and then we'll be there in the morning. So I'll wake up in Turks. I've never gone out the country. This is my first time going out the country. So I'm really excited for that too. A little nervous because just I've never been out the country, but more excited than anything. Um, so yeah, I will come back when I am on my way to the airport. Okay, I did my hair. This is the finished hair. Came out so cute. I'm feeling it. Um, I'm getting ready to call my Uber. I just, I'm just like a type of person. Um, I like to be like fucked up on a flight because I like to black out on the flight and then wake up wherever the fuck I'm going. This is the fit. It's just like this Amazon skims dupe. So cute, it's brown. And then I'm gonna wear these shoes. And I'm carrying my Louis bag. That's the only bag I travel with. My Speedy is literally the best um, bag to travel with. So yeah, I'm getting ready to go. Guys. I don't know if it's just me, but I literally get the worst fucking car sick when I sit in the back seat or like when I'm not the driver in general. I don't know if that's a control thing or what, but this is just me going the fuck through it in the back seat of this fucking Uber. It was literally so miserable. Hey guys, so we're at the airport now. I'm getting a drink. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. We got a drink and we're gonna take a shot. Cheers. I'm drinking Hennessy double shot. That shit is so good. I'm really excited. We checked our bags in. That's honestly, TSA is honestly the worst part of traveling because it honestly gives me the worst anxiety of my fucking life. So. I'm on the plane and I'm lucky drunk and I'm sweating. Look at my edges. We made it! It's so fucking humid here. I literally want to pass out already. We made it, we made it in one piece. Um, I look crazy, so. The plane ride was absolutely miserable. But we're here, we're in one piece. We made it to the villa, finally! We're here and I'm just changing into my bathing suit. Look at this view of the pool. This is my bedroom. So fire. This is the other view. You can see the ocean. Hey guys, so I'm at the pool area now. I'm really just swinging on this chair. But I finished my makeup. Just like light, no makeup, makeup. Nothing too crazy. Um, I'm gonna tan probably tomorrow. Um, we got here like at the B&B kind of late from customs. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go tomorrow morning. Like I'm gonna wake up early. I'm really excited. I wanna go. Yeah, and if you're in this area, if you're going from any end to this area, it's six dollars. Like I said, the villa wasn't all the way out there. They below. So we're eating. What is this called? Grouper. Oh. Deep fried grouper. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Hard headed. Yeah. Oh my god, wait. Oh, I'm gonna put some sauce. A little sauce. Go. That's so good. That shit is so fucking good. We just made it back from dinner and I'm super full and it was so good. Literally the best jerk chicken I've ever had in my life. The pool at night is gorgeous. It feels so good out here for it to be this time of day. Let me put my feet in. It's a little chilly but 
I feel like once I get drunk, I'm really not even gonna care. It's just beautiful. It feels so good. I feel like I'm just absorbing like all the humidity in my skin. And I'm gonna come back and my skin's gonna be like beautiful. Hey y'all, um, I'm fucked up. Look at my eye makeup. I look think I'm doing a little bit too heavy for the occasion because I wore the Hey logo by e.l.f. I loved it but I think it's like more for when I'm on my full glam days I think um, when I use sunscreen it like kind of counteracts but this is my makeup after a long day I've had it on since maybe like two so um, yeah, I'm just chilling. I might get in the pool. I got in already, but my hair is nappy now, so. I don't know. Hey guys, day two of Turks and Caicos. I'll show you my outfit. So I'm wearing this bikini. It's from a brand called Size the Brand. Love it. This skirt is from Pink Plastic. And then these are my foam runners. And then I just have on this cuff from Pink Plastic. This necklace is from like forever. Baby in Westwood. Earrings. These are my like everyday rings. Really excited. Today we're going to the beach. And we're gonna have the chef come and cook us a yummy dinner and we decided we're gonna wear all black and everything so it's gonna be super fun um last night i went swimming i got really fucked up and <laughs> i went swimming and my hair got really fucked up like i just i don't know i fucked up but it's like impossible for me to do my hair here it's too humid i'm sweating like while i'm doing my hair but yeah, um, I'll give you a little tour. Here's the kitchen. There's like not a single drop of food in here. We just went to the store and got like a few things, but the grocery store here is so expensive. Here, orange juice is literally eight fucking dollars, but this is the kitchen. Here's the stairs. This is the view. And then I get another thing. Here's the living room, the door. And then we come out here. We had hookah last night. Before we go to the beach, I'm gonna lay out because um, everyone's still getting ready. And I just got ready. I just got ready really fast. Okay, so I changed my outfit because I went swimming and I didn't want to wear, you know, I didn't want to wear the outfit that I had on when I was swimming and I took photos in it so at least I'm getting a lot of content a lot of photos and I'm gonna wear everything I brought basically and I'll just give you a little outfit of the day this is just a red bathing suit from pretty little thing and these shorts are from Target just some foam runners I don't know where this hat's from yeah just something light we're about to go get some food and go to the beach so shame at all pretty much all the photos i've been getting of myself have been from the tripod i love it like independent i don't need nobody for shit yeah i'm just sitting here i don't want to put my glasses on it's just the type of vibe i want and i'm just gonna continue to sit here and just take the I never want to leave. 
why can't I live here for the summer? took a shower and washed my hair now I'm about to do my makeup and we're about to eat dinner here's the chef here he came and is preparing us a lovely meal it's gonna be really good actually but yeah so that's what we're dealing with I'm about to do my makeup look at this fucking in the bathroom like this is a mess the lighting in here sucks so Amazing So we went to the beach today. We ate at this place called Mr. Rupert's out here. And we went there yesterday and their jerk chicken was so fucking good. Like I've never had jerk chicken like that in my life. That's what we did. I'm not gonna really do like too much for makeup right now because it's hot and humid. And I don't feel like doing that really, you know. I just want to sit down and talk because I'm honestly so happy that I'm here and it's like so pretty here. Like it's unreal here. Like if I could experience this all over again, I would. But honestly, the island people here are so sweet. The taxi drivers, even down to the people who work at the airport, like everybody is so sweet and everybody's like so plugged in and just so helpful. And I just love that about here. They just don't care. They think us American people are insane. Like, like we are extra as fuck to them. Like, but I love it here. And I literally am like, I should come here once a year. <laughs> like, I love it so much. And this house is so beautiful. And honestly, I'm just taking everything in. Like, I'm really here on an island surrounded by water. I actually swam in the ocean today. In LA, I'm never gonna like get in the water. Like, that's insane. But here, I was like fully submerged in the fucking water. And I just was having a blast. I'm just obsessed with what's going on in my life right now. I think I'm gonna do like my vacation glam, what I've been doing. So tomorrow is Super Bowl Sunday. And we're gonna just go to the beach a different beach than we went to today the one that we went to today was like more low-key i'm a little out of breath guys the one that we're gonna go to tomorrow has like more bars and party it's like more the vibe so that should be fun i'm just gonna finish doing my makeup i'm gonna come back when i'm all ready and we're getting ready to do dinner so I'm done with my makeup. I'm just wearing this like bodysuit thing. I can't remember where it's from. I am exhausted. I'm really, really tired, but we're on vacation, so we gotta push through and get lit. So I just wanted to come on here and show my outfit because it's super cute. I'm really comfortable, honestly. So that's all that matters. I'm gonna go smoke the champagne. This looks so good. Lipstick. Look at this food, guys. This food was like a 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't that good. This was probably the best thing this pasta. Everything else was mid. Good morning. So it's currently like 11 30. I'm about to like lay out for a little y'all it literally started raining like i was laying out sun was out now all of a sudden 
It's boomerang. And literally, I almost got caught in it. I was like this close, like literally one step, and then it just started pouring. I haven't even been out here long, so that's my dilemma. The rain stopped just like that. This like fucking, what is it, Caribbean climate? What's that climate? Humid, tro tropical climates, there we go. Insane. Um, we haven't really done anything today. I've been laying out by the pool all day. Like I'm like super dark. But um, I'm currently about to go to like a Super Bowl situation. We're about to go out and I'm really excited. I'm just wearing this, this cream dress from Aritzia. Love it. I'm gonna just wear these white heels. All season long on ESPN and the ESPN app. The world to shine bright. To show what the we're getting ready to watch the Super Bowl. We're at Shisa Lounge in Turks and Caicos. Today's the last full day we have here, unfortunately. And I'm so sad because I love it here. We're eating breakfast. I was just laying out, doing my do. I have so much sunscreen on my face. Look at this yummy food. We're going on the boat. This is what I'm wearing. Press it again. It is, it is that funny. Yeah. I can finally like look outside and like
insane. Your cap came off, dude. It's a stingray. <laughs> yeah, nah, that's a video. <laughs> Big boy stingray boy. This is literally like a small private beach and the water just feels so good. So pretty. The camera like doesn't do it any justice. So I'm filming on my phone right now because my camera's upstairs and I don't feel like going to get it, but my eyes burn from the sunscreen. <laughs> um, today's our last day here. I'm really, really sad. I got up early today um, so I could lay out one last time. Just like get in the pool one last time. But it's been real. Turks and Caicos is beautiful. I would definitely come back. Oh my God, my eyes burn. I look a fucking mess, but I had the best time ever and now I guess it's time to go back to reality and go home which I'm really sad about because I've been living my best life on this trip yeah so I'm just enjoying the pool and just sitting out one last time we leave at 2 um, our flight takes off at 2 from here and it's like 10 o'clock I was like I'm just gonna stay out for like an hour try to get the most out of my tan try to get a little bit more tan and then I'm gonna go in and take a shower and get ready for the plane. It's also Valentine's Day, which is cool. But yeah, not too much else crazy going on. I'm about to get in this cold ass pool for the last time. And yeah, I'm really sad. I know he died for you, ladies, but I live my life for you. I got my eyes on you. You got fights on you. Yeah, got my shit in. They sell like souvenirs. This looks like just like a hangout place. I love it here. I'm so sad I have to leave. I just bought a um, keychain and a magnet for my mommy. But they have such cute stuff. I'm just trying not to spend money.